and welcome to this mid, this week's midweek moment. Let us again begin with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Direct your faithful Lord in the way of eternal salvation, which the Bishop St. Apollinaris showed by his teaching and martyrdom, and grant through his intercession that we may so persevere in keeping your commandments as to merit being crowned with him. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our two Eagle Scout projects are nearing completion. The Blessing Box in the West Lot, Noah Moreno's project, will be blessed and dedicated as soon as Noah and I are able to set up a date. The Veterans Memorial, Luke Rost's project, will be dedicated with a flag raising and blessing ceremony on Saturday, July 30th at 11 a.m. All are invited. Our host for our first Saturday Summer Mass will be Ed Gogolak. Please join us this Saturday, July 23rd at his home at 7558 Hemlock Drive in Orland Park. Please sign up before July 26th for the Filipino cooking lesson, which will be on Saturday, July 30th. This weekend and the following weekend, we will have pre-sales for tickets to the Taste of St. Julie. The prices will go up on the day of the event, so take advantage of the pre-sale weekends. You will be able to purchase food, drink tickets, raffle tickets, and pre-order for t-shirts. And our celebration for Pat Kamak is finally coming this, this weekend. Please join us at the 11.30 a.m. Mass this Sunday, July 24th, as we bless Pat and give thanks to God for her many years of work. The celebration will continue after the Mass with a luncheon in the Divine Center. My reflection this week is a sneak preview of my bulletin article for this coming weekend. As we know, this weekend, the parish will celebrate an amazing woman who has been part of our parish community for the, from the very beginning. Of course, I speak of none other than Pat Kamak, who retired this past June 30th, 2022, after 48 years of shaping and forming so many children as our Director of Religious Education. Pat unselfishly and so generously gave of her time, talent, and treasure to advance the parish's mission to teach the faith. This weekend, we take the time to honor her, her life, her contribution, and her witness to the faith. And so please join us at the 11.30 a.m. Mass this weekend as we ask God's blessing on Pat, who in many ways exemplified for us the joy and dedication of our patron, St. Julie Billiard. Like St. Julie, Pat has always had a joyful attitude, constantly grateful to God for everything, and a passion for passing on the faith. In addition to the blessing and luncheon this Sunday, I take this time to share with parishioners two other ways that we will be honoring Pat Kamak and her contributions. I know that we cannot begin to repay her for the years of service she has given, but these will be simple ways we can remember that her impact will be felt for many years to come. The first is renaming part of the Divine Center, which I am in right now, to the Pat Kamak Center for Faith Formation. And so I thank Sheila and Ed Pluchar for presenting this idea. As many of us know, the Divine Center was one of the first buildings erected shortly after the land was established for the parish and has been the venue for our faith formation efforts. Pat Kamak has been at the helm of our faith formation program since the start of the parish. It is only fitting that we honor her contribution to, and continue her legacy by dedicating part of the Divine Center to her. So the office space and lobby area of the Divine Center will soon be known as the Pat Kamak Center for Faith Formation. Eventually, we will be adding a memorial sign inside the building as well as adding that name to the exterior of the, of the Divine Center. It will happen very soon. The building will still be dedicated to Father Divine, who was our founding pastor. But it seems very fitting to put Kamak's, Pat Kamak's name on the same building as the one dedicated to Father Divine. It is very fitting that her name appear side by side to the, uh, by the name of the founding pastor, because the two of them worked together to establish our faith community. And so their joint witness of faith will help us continue what they first began. The other honor that we will be giving to Pat Kamak as she retires also involves a renaming. 
for those who do online given, giving and even those who, do, who may not. You may be aware that we have a scholarship fund for faith formation. It has been in existence for many years and parishioners have been contributing to it. If you are not aware of that this fund existed, in the, uh, that now you know. The fund has been intended to provide financial assistance to families who may need it in paying for the faith formation of their children. Up until now, the fund has had a general name. However, very soon, we will be renaming it as the Pat Kamak Faith Formation Fund. Nathan Roy, our new Director of Lifelong Faith Formation, brought up the idea to me and I thank him for the great idea. Naming that fund in honor of Pat Kamak will again help us to remember her 48 years of ministry in the parish and continue her example of commitment to making disciples. Having the Pat Kamak Faith Formation Fund will allow Nathan to provide assistance to families who may need help in paying for faith formation of their children, but it will also be a valuable assistance to enhance our every other effort at faith formation. Pat would be the first to say that formation in the faith is a lifelong process. So the Pat Kamak Faith Formation Fund will allow us to support the effort and ministry of faith formation wherever it may be needed and at whatever stage. Again, the fund already exists. If you have been contributing to it, you may continue to do so. If you have not given to the fund, it is easy enough to begin doing so. Either way, the fund will be a way for us to honor Pat's contribution and continue the ministry that gave her so much joy. We are truly grateful for Pat. And again, this weekend, I invite all of us to express that deep gratitude for a woman who truly has helped us to see how good is our good God. And let us keep Pat in our prayers as we close with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, we again ask your blessing on Pat as she retires. May she continue to find joy in your goodness. May she continue to share that same joy in every way that she has been doing. May we as a parish remain grateful to her example and witness of faith. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.